where is it going? It's going um, to a new frontier, um, toward a new uh, arena where artists have to be more of uh, like promoters of their own work, you know, and represent it more. Like uh, the best thing about being in the festival is being in it, you know, like coming out to other screenings and stuff like that, and you know, like network with people and you know, just uh, enjoying it and taking advantage of all the perks, pretty much. Well, um, Simfest. We we show movies that have music at their core, so that's sort of our niche, and um, and we kind of keep it open because you never know exactly how that's going to manifest itself, uh, or it's, it's whether it's a fiction story about a, a struggling musician or a documentary about um, you know break dancers in Uganda. Um, it's uh, really runs a gambit, and so we we are catering to a specific genre of film. Um, and within that, the music and the music that we curate with the films all have something to do with music that, uh, films that we're presenting. I have this footage that I think is interesting and, you know, I've been interested in kind of like dance and movement in a while, for a while, and I thought that the way that uh, Esmeralda and the Turtle had kind of gone through these changes and sort of changed her movement and then like sort of exited <laughs> the scene, I thought it was kind of pretty and Carl seemed interested as well. So then he sort of took it from there. And it was kind of random and I had never scored anything before. So I basically just um, <laughs> spent a lot of late nights in my room in the dark, kind of like just trying to feel it out and uh, go by instincts. And yeah, that's it's kind of how it turned out, I guess. And Apparently it's good enough to get into the festival, so <laughs> I try to like stay in touch with people once I meet them. Like I go to film festivals and you know try to meet whatever interesting whatever interesting people I can. Um, for stuff like this, it's more you know it's a lot of staying in touch with people and trying to just uh, find people who have similar uh, tastes as you. I'm really uh, thank thankful for SimFest. They really, I, I, was, I was fortunate enough to, uh, we premiered it at the CMJ Festival in New York City, and I felt it's, it's, it's been awesome that we've been able to screen it at all these really awesome festivals and get a lot of exposure in places where I'd not have thought to screen it. Like, I live in Wilmington, North Carolina. We have a fairly popular film festival there called the Kukaloris Film Festival, but I knew if I was going to get any exposure for the movie, I had to submit it to a bunch of fests outside of my comfort zone, and so... We are film in general, media in general. We're at a a it's a new era, it's a new time. You know, when you talk about when film came on the scene and it was just in little penny arcades and and when they started becoming longer and and more organized venues for them, you know, it's a whole new way of doing things and it got standardized and and. Um, and films became standardized, kind of how they're presented and, and so forth. You bring in sound, and that was the next big change. This, and then television also, you know, was a whole new kind of way people view things. And now uh, we are in a whole new era. And all those things worked themselves out. Television didn't kill cinema. I don't think the internet's going to kill cinema. You know, people like to come together. Events like this, a festival, just going to the movie theater, people still like it. It's a different kind of experience. You know, you can watch a sporting event on TV, but people flock to those stadiums. Um, it just means there's more outlets and more room for different content, different styles of content. So you're going to see styles of storytelling changing a bit, but stories will always be stories. Um, so those will live on and there'll just be more ways to see them, I think.